Okay, right now I'm going to show you how to use the Ubuntu Antivirus Live CD. Start off uh, with the CD in your disk drive and boot your computer. You'll have to have your computer set up to boot from a CD first and just hit enter when you get to the boot screen. Okay, now you've got your live CD booted up. This is your desktop. The first thing you want to do is mount your Windows drive. So you go to My Computer. You're going to look for your Windows drive. And you should know what your Windows drive looks like. So let's go here and we'll mount our Windows drive. Now the next thing you want to do is you go to your location bar there. You want to highlight and copy that. Minimize. Now we want to configure Wine. Wine is a compatibility layer for Linux. It allows Windows based applications to run off of Linux. So we're going to configure Wine. Alright, now that you've got your Wine configuration open, you can go up here to Drives. And now we want to add a drive. And we'll leave our drive letter as drive E. We'll click OK. Now you want to go ahead and highlight that in the path. And we're going to paste what we copied earlier. That's now our Windows drive. We're going to click Show Advanced. And we're going to set that to a local hard disk. We're going to click Apply and OK. So now we've mounted our Windows drive in Linux and we've also mounted it for Wine. So now we can go ahead and run our scans. First we'll run our virus scan with Avast Antivirus. So we'll go ahead and get that started. I do have the Linux based Avast installed in here so it will run relatively quickly. First thing you want to do is update the database. You will need to be connected to the internet with this. Uh, ideally I would suggest connecting with it Ethernet but you can also connect wirelessly. You just have to edit your connections. So first we'll do update database. I'm going to pause this while that downloads the updates. Okay, the database has now been updated. So we're going to go ahead and scan our Windows drive. We don't need to do the home directory or the entire system. We're just going to do a selected folder. Add your folder. And right here, you're just going to right click and click paste. And that's going to put your Windows drive that we just mounted into there. So now we're just going to be scanning just our Windows drive. And you should probably go ahead and click standard or thorough either way. Um, depending on the infestation of the drive, how bad you think it is. And go ahead and run a scan. It'll run pretty quick. And boom, it just found a virus. This is a test virus I put on here. Go ahead and just do delete. And you can delete each individual virus as you find them, or you can make it delete every virus that it finds. I'm just going to hit delete, and it'll finish. Okay, now that the scan's done, it shows you the results of what's happened. It shows that it did delete that file. So we can go ahead and click close. Now we can quit. And now we need to scan for any malware and spyware. We'll use Malwarebytes and a malware for that. So go ahead and get that started. Alright, now the Malwarebytes is up and running. You'll want to first go to the Update tab and download the latest updates. 
it'll connect to the server and download any available updates. Alright, once it's done updating the database, you can just click OK. And now you'll want to go back to the first tab. And you'll need to run a full scan. Click scan. Now remember we don't need to do the C drive because that's the fake windows for Wine. We don't need the Z drive. What we want is our E drive because we set it for our Windows drive. Now we're just going hit, to hit start scan and see what it comes up with. Okay, the scan's done. Took a little over an hour to scan the Windows drive. We'll click show results to see what it's found. And there are my three test files that I've got on there. And it did find all of those, so let's get those removed. And you don't have to worry about rebooting because you're not in Windows anyway, so you can click no to that. And now you're done. Your system's clean. I would recommend going through and running a Malwarebytes scan from within Windows itself just to clean up any stray registry keys that the malware has installed and any leftovers as Malwarebytes can't scan the Windows registry from with from inside Linux, so you will need to run at least one more scan with Malware Bytes inside Windows just as a cleanup step, but for all intents and purposes, you are clean now.